so I am here today to announce something that I personally find incredibly exciting, which is round three of my readathon, the Femme Fan Tale. So I run this readathon with my friend Jill. We do all the Twitter sprints together and we sort of come up with the prompts together. So I'll link her Twitter down below. But the whole intention of this readathon, which we started last year was to encourage you to read fantasy or general kind of speculative fantastical fiction we are happy to let you use that term as loosely as you would like written by women and I had so much fun during rounds one and two last year which were sort of in the spring and autumn I got so many recommendations for awesome fantasy written by women I got to talk about one of my favorite sort of subcategory of literature with all of you guys and just kind of promote uh, these genres written by women that perhaps were traditionally seen as uh, more masculine and therefore we wanted to keep things going, keep it up and we're here with round three. Uh, the most important piece of information I think that you will need is the dates. So allow me to oblige by informing you that those are the 8th through to the 15th of March which is a Sunday to Sunday making the readathon in total eight days and the reason it starts on the 8th of March is because that is International Women's Day. But if you are looking to participate then simply spend those eight days reading some fantasy written by women. You can use the hashtag femfantale on Twitter or Instagram which I myself will of course be monitoring and engaging with as well as I'm sure other people will as they did in the previous two readathons. It's just like a really nice community and um, I've always really enjoyed getting involved in the hashtag when the readathons have taken place so please do use it. I would also of course love to see TBRs and wrap ups on your blog or on your YouTube channel so let me know if you post any of those. Um, but for those of you who like a little bit of a challenge we have as always created a bingo chart for the readathon so let me go through some of the challenges on the bingo chart. There are 12 boxes in total which for me very much makes this a bingo chart of doubling or tripling up. I would never read 12 books in eight days so myself I will probably you know use three of those challenges towards one book or something like that and in saying that there's no reason that you absolutely have to complete this bingo chart it's more for those who enjoy those kind of like fun challenges and prompts during readathons and also to maybe encourage you to read a little bit outside of your box even if you're already reading fantasy written by women maybe you're not reading as much in in some of these categories so um, I'm reading off my computer here first up is one that's always there and that is um, a queer or LGBTQ plus book that obviously covers a broad range of different things from sexuality to gender identities and I always love to read as much queer fantasy as possible so if you read more than one that's brilliant but I would encourage you to check at least one out because there's some amazing ones out there and I even did an entire video on the topic so I will link it down below. We then have read a middle grade book which is just kind of like the uh, term that I feel like book internet now uses to encompass children's literature. Uh, we have a retelling that could be a fairy tale retelling, it could be a myth retelling, it could even be like another piece of literature retelling like Sherlock Holmes or Jane Eyre. Retellings in general I think are quite common within the fantasy genre and I love reading them myself because I feel like they've got like this double layer to your experience. We then have one that sounds a little bit more specific and that is Women with a Weapon. Now the reason I wanted to include this challenge is because a couple of weeks ago I saw this video that was being shared on Twitter and sh showed it to Jill and we could not believe it because it was a sort of media critic criticising the Witcher series for including women that fight with swords because women can't fight with swords and they certainly can't beat men and I could not believe there was someone still um, in the 21st century propagating such absolute nonsense. We all know women can fight with swords if they want but I decided to make this prompt a little bit vaguer in case um, you were finding it difficult to find a sword in your book but just you know a book with a woman brandishing a weapon however you may interpret that. It might be a magical power, it might be a battle axe. I don't really care, the idea is just more to uh, kind of combat that notion that uh, women cannot be fighters. We then have a standalone, which is simply a book that is not part of a series. Uh, a new to you author, which of course is dependent on the person reading it, but if you can pick up a book by an author you've never read before, that would be incredible. We then have a BAME author, which stands for Black 
Asian and minority ethnic. Of course, again, I would highly encourage you to keep all of your reading as diverse as possible. And this bingo chart is not to imply that you should only read one BAME author. But it's also just a reminder for you and myself to make a conscious effort because I feel myself that I still see more white authors and, and white voices represented in fantasy in the mainstream. We then have read a book in a series. This challenge used to say sequel, but then I thought maybe book in a series would be a little bit easier because that way you can read the first book in a series, so start a new series, or read a sequel to a series you're already reading. We then have a historical setting, so rather than necessarily like an alternative world or a futuristic setting, maybe your book's set in Victorian England or it's set in medieval Ireland. Those are two very specific examples I've pulled out of my head, but you get the gist. We then have a non-human protagonist because because for me one of the wonderful things about fantasy is it's full of all these different creatures that aren't humans and I love that about it but sometimes we still have a human protagonist surrounded by those magical creatures and therefore I thought it'd be nice to encourage us all to read a book with a non-human protagonist for something a little bit different. Then we have the standard young adult book and adult book so again the other two main age demographics for literature because personally I find amazing fantasy within adult, young adult and middle grade so I wanted to include all of those on there because no one is better than the other and that's a wrap for those challenges if you are looking for more recommendations of specific books to read I have a few videos on different fantasy topics I'll link down below from like I mentioned queer fantasy to fantasy just exclusively written by women which of course is um, appropriate for this video but all of my fantasy videos have a lot of female authors in them so they will all be down below for you to check out and I myself will be posting a TBR closer to the date so probably around mid-February in a few weeks time and like I mentioned I'd love to know what you plan on reading and if you plan on participating so let me know down in the comments and don't forget to use the hashtag online there will be reading sprints um Jill and I will be drafting up a more like formal schedule for reading sprints at different times of the day throughout those eight days so that we can all read alongside one another as a community and those will be on Twitter for ease but I will be sharing other bits and pieces on Instagram and probably vlog vlogging the whole readathon as I've done in the past so you can look out for that on my channel once the readathon comes to a close but again if you stay tuned to the hashtag on Instagram and Twitter I will be sharing the reading sprints closer to the time probably around the same time I release my TBR and then you can see which ones fit in with your schedule but before you go I would also love to hear your recommendations for amazing fantasy books written by women so leave them in the comments down below for me and everybody else and until next time happy reading I'll see you all again soon bye guys